just two days before Yom Kippur in the rural town of Messina, New York, in September of 1928. These are usually days of joyous festivity. But instead, a terrible fear grips the community. Four-year-old Barbara Griffiths, a Christian girl from Messina, has disappeared, and the Jewish community is being accused of ritual murder. The mayor of the town, Gilbert Hawes, has taken the lead in the investigation after Albert Comnus, an immigrant from Greece, reported that the Jews of Messina may have kidnapped Barbara to ritually murder her as a human sacrifice for the upcoming festival. Only hours before Yom Kippur, a state trooper arrives at the rabbi's home to summon him for questioning, while an angry mob gathers in the alley between Main Street and the police station. A short while later, little Barbara reappears and says that she spent the night in the forest, but this didn't quiet the scene. Convinced she was released by the Jews when the plot was discovered, Mayor Hawes disregards the girl's report and instead orders a boycott of all Jewish-owned businesses in town. What could have brought a 20th century American mayor and a New York state trooper to believe such a hideous blood libel? On the morning of that fateful Yom Kippur Eve, Morris Goldberg was randomly chosen as a member of the Messina Jewish community and was taken in by police for questioning. When asked whether Jews require blood for a holiday ritual, he answered with an honest, I don't know. Unable to deny that Jews made use of human blood, Goldberg's account served as a basis for the American blood libel that ensued. At the Roar Jewish Learning Institute, we believe that there is great advantage to all Jews being proficient in Jewish cultural literacy. That's why we're offering an intriguing new course called Fascinating Facts, exploring the myths and mysteries of Judaism. In six sessions, sure to enlighten the novice and trivia buff alike, we'll explore a multitude of Jewish questions, such as, why is pork considered the quintessential non-kosher food? Do Jews believe in Satan? And what is the real significance of the evil eye? To discover answers to these Jewish questions and more, join us this November for a fun and fascinating experience offered in over 350 locations worldwide.